Hello friends, welcome to my channel. And today I am going to talk about one of the most beautiful house plant, philodendron. I am having a golden variety philodendron plant. Its neon colors, broad leaf. It's very beautiful to decorate the corner of your house. Philodendron plant have to be kept in indirect sunlight because direct sunlight can make the leaf burn. There are so many varieties of philodendron. This is the most common variety which I am having. It is too much hardy plant in comparison to the other varieties. The philodendron plant got their name from two Greek words. Philo means love and dendron which means tree. Now along with these, you all will be knowing that philodendron has many benefits. Firstly, it improves air quality. Second, it is a very low maintenance plant. Third, it is adaptable in nature and can be grown in water. And also it boosts humidity and reduce dry air in homes. And also the most important thing is that it is one of the best low light plant. And now talking about its soil first, it needs very well drained soil. So for the soil making, I am taking 60% of white sand, 20% of garden soil and 20% of mixed fertilizer and I have already made a video about how to make mixed fertilizer at your home. It is an ideal time to report this plan because in Kolkata monsoon has already reached. So for reporting I am taking 8 inches plastic pot. You can also grow it in clay pots but as I'll keep it in our home for decoration so I have used a plastic pot. This is deep blue color pot and neon green plant is the perfect color combination I think. And the white sand you are seeing that I have used in my potting mix. It is ideal for increasing the drainage system of the soil. This sand can turn your heavy soil into perfection. As you know, this plant is a climber and the plant has so many aerial roots so it needs a good support system. So for that you can use moss stick as a good support system. You all can also propagate the golden philodendron by stem cutting from your plant. Each cutting should have at least three to four nodes along the stem. And remember to remove the bottom one to two leaves from the stem of each cutting, leaving at least one leaf at the top of the cutting. Then place the cuttings in water in indirect sunlight and change the water every few days and in a few weeks you will have new roots and remember to water the philodendron plant only once a week so guys how did you like my today's video do comment and let me know and also don't forget to like and share the video have a good day